very much for joining me. It is Tuesday, January 21st, 2025. I'm hoping you'll get the notice for this video. Trump signed an executive order banning government censoring of social media. And it's really bad on YouTube and Facebook and different apps. WhatsApp, I guess it's bad on there too. But did you feel the 3.5 earthquake that was reported near Snoqualmie? I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Falls City. 1,213 people did send in reports to USGS that they felt it. It was at uh, 1.35 p.m. local time yesterday, and it was followed by a magnitude 2.8 that occurred at uh, 5.03 p.m. 65 people sent in reports saying they felt that. This was not far from a magnitude 3.9 earthquake that they had in August of 2023. Uh, yeah, there's probably a fault line that runs through here. Everyone needs to be prepared for a large earthquake. You know, January 26th of this year marks the 325th anniversary of the last mega thrust earthquake along the Cascadia subduction zone. That is a 700 mile fault zone off the Pacific Northwest coast. It's just a matter of time before there's another large earthquake that occurs along the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Are you prepared? USGS is reporting seven earthquakes within the last 24 hours. Um, it looks like uh, we got a 3.5 and the 2.8, which are both about 10 miles in depth, were the largest. Here's a map of the felt reports that were sent in to USGS. Looks like it was felt across the border um, by Vancouver. Let's see, we got one report from there. Intensity level 2. And Oliver, intensity level 2, one report from there. And um, Olympia looks like the farthest report to the south. Tacoma, Washington, and Olympia, yeah. USGS gave it an intensity level of four, which means it was felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, some may have been woken up. Well, it was afternoon, so dishes, windows, doors were rattling. Automobiles rocked noticeably. What kind of damage did you have? Did you have anything fall out of the cupboards or off the shelves? If so, that means you're not earthquake prepared. Everyone needs to have a plan. You need to be prepared and organized with your disaster supplies. Secure top heavy objects and water heaters to studs. Also, you need to have a wrench so you know how to turn on and learn how to turn off the gas valves yeah, and water case. Um, catalog belongings and protect yourself financially with earthquake insurance. Um, let's see, what else we got on here? Strengthen your home um, with seismic retrofits. Um, and have a maybe have an alert in case someone sends, you know, the USGS sends out a shake alert might give you a couple of seconds to prepare. And they're telling you don't get in doorways anymore. You get underneath something large and hold on. These earthquakes could be associated with the movement of the Juan de Fuca plate and the North American plate. Uh, the Juan de Fuca plate is slowly sliding underneath the North American plate. Washington State is listed as the second most seismically active and danger for having a large earthquake number two and mostly because it's uh, you know adjoining associated with the uh, uh, Cascadia subduction zone you know large earthquakes the shaking back and forth sometimes up to three feet back and forth can last anywhere from a minute to three minutes in length yeah are you prepared I hope so did you feel this earthquake? Put your comments down below. What did the motion feel like? How long did it last? 
Uh, USGS does not have a moment tensor ball. Uh, please put those comments down below. I would really like to read what you experience. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.